Hello, Dr. Adam. How are you? Hello, Dr. Laura. I am fine. I want to ask you about congenital cytomegalovirus infection. According to clinical manifestations of congenital cytomegalovirus infection, there is two presentations. The first presentation is early presented with acute fulminant infection involving multiple organs like petechia, jaundice, hepatosplenomegaly. And the second presentation. The second presentation is early presented without life-threatening complications as microcephaly and intracranial calcifications, especially periventricular. Sensory neural hearing loss is the most common sequela after the two presentations. What is the investigations I should do to diagnose congenital cytomegalovirus infection? Viral cultures in body fluids, oral secretions or urine, in the first three weeks of life. After three weeks, the infant may have acquired the organism at the time of delivery or postnatally via breast milk. Test cord or infant's blood for cytomegalovirus detection by PCR. Cytomegalovirus, immunoglobulin G, and immunoglobulin M, are of limited usefulness. But negative titers in maternal and infant sera are sufficient to exclude congenital cytomegalovirus. Long-term follow-up tests include serial audiology and developmental assessment. Head circumference and ophthalmology should be done to any infant with congenital cytomegalovirus infection. And how I can manage that case? In asymptomatic congenital cytomegalovirus infection, treatment is not indicated. According to symptomatic infants, gancyclovir is indicated for cytomegalovirus retinitis, colitis, meningoencephalitis, esophagitis, hepatitis, and pneumonitis. Gancyclovir is given at a dose of 10 to 15 mg per kilogram per day IV infusion over greater than 1 hour, divided every 12 hours for 3 to 6 weeks. The use of cytomegalovirus hyperimmune globulin has not been evaluated extensively for the treatment of congenital cytomegalovirus disease. Okay, thank you Dr. Adam. You're welcome.